Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we're gonna do this stitch. It's the stitch itself it's reversible. This is the one of the sides and the other side. The sides are okay, they're quite straight. So you can make a baby blanket, a hat, a scarf, whatever you like to, to do, even a pillow cover if you like. It's really nice and it goes really fast, just one row repeat. But I will have to say this yarn, uh, this stitch is gonna eat a lot of yarn. So be ready with uh, whatever project you're gonna do, make sure that you have the enough yarn to finish that project. Yeah. Okay, with this stitch, you're gonna have to chain multiples of six plus five more. So I have multiples of six, I have 12 here, so I'm gonna chain five more. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna skip the first chain from the hook and in the second chain from the hook we're gonna do a single crochet in there. Okay, now skip the next two chains, one, two, and in the third chain, yarn over the hook, we're gonna go into that third chain and we're gonna start to do a puff. So pull up a loop, yarn over the hook, go back again into the same chain, pull up a loop, yarn over the hook, go back again into the same chain, pull up a loop and now you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna pull the yarn through all these loops, not this one. Yeah? Pull through all those loops, yarn over and pull the yarn to the last two loops, chain two, yarn over the hook, we're gonna go back into the same chain where we did this puff. Yeah? So you go back again and we're gonna do another puff. Go back again, pull up a loop, and you go back again. So now you're gonna pull the yarn through all these loops, not this one. So yarn over, pull the yarn through all those loops, yarn over, pull the yarn to the last two, again chain two, yarn over the hook, and for the third time we're gonna go into the same chain and we're gonna do another puff so we're gonna do three puffs in one chain yeah. so you go back again up a loop yarn over the hook go back again pull the yarn through all those loops you have two left yarn over and pull the yarn to the last two now you're gonna have to be careful when you pull this when you put so much in one chain the next chain it's it's hidden yeah so make sure that you count that so one two we're gonna skip and in the third chain we're gonna do a single crochet. Yarn over the hook, skip the next two chains, one, two, and in the third chain we're gonna do the puffs. So you go into that chain, you start pulling up loops, go back again. So you're gonna go inside the chain for a puff three times. So pull the yarn to the loops, pull the yarn to the last two, chain two. And we're gonna go back into the same chain and we're gonna do the second puff. Chain two. And now we're gonna do the, the third puff, so we're gonna go back into the same chain and we're gonna do the same. Okay, you should have like six loops here, two, four, six without this one. So yarn over, pull the yarn through all the loops, pull the yarn to the last two. Now again you're gonna skip the next two chains, one, two, and in the third chain you're gonna do a single crochet. Yarn, the, yarn over the hook, so now you, you're gonna be remaining with three chains, one, two, three. You're gonna skip the next two, and in the last chain, the third one there, the last one, we're gonna do the puff. Pull the yarn through all those loops, pull the yarn to the last two, chain two, yarn over the hook and we're gonna go back into the last chain that we did this puff and we're gonna do one more puff. Every time when you finish the row, the last chain or the stitch, you're gonna do only two puffs, not three. So pull the yarn through all the loops, pull the yarn to the last two, 
chain one, turn your work, and this is going to be the row that you're going to repeat on and on, the one that we're going to do now. So in the first stitch here, right there, we're going to go in there and we're going to do a single crochet. Yeah. Now yarn over the hook where you have the single crochets. This is a single crochet, this is a single crochet. In each single crochet in here, we're going to do the three puffs. Yeah. So you're going to go into the single crochet and you're going to start doing the puffs. Chain two, go back again for the second puff, chain two, and for the third one you go back again into that stitch where was the where is the single crochet from the previous row. Okay, and now we're gonna have to do the single crochet, so you're gonna skip the first puff. And in the one in the middle, the second puff, right here on top, the stitch, you're going to do a single crochet. Yeah. So yarn over the hook. Now again, the single crochet, we're going to move to the single crochet from the previous row. So you're going to skip this puff and you're going to go into the single crochet and we're going to do in there three puffs. Chain two. And you go back again and do the second puff, chain two, and we go back again for the third puff. Okay, and now you're going to skip the next puff, and in the second puff, the one in the middle, right there on top, into the stitch, you're going to place a single crochet. Okay, yarn over the hook, and now you're going to go to the last stitch, right here the last one and we're going to do only two puffs with two chains in between yeah? so one two and three you should have six loops without this one the last one there so chain two and you go back again into the same stitch where we did that puff and you do one more puff chain one turn your work it's going to look like this so now you're going to repeat the row. So the first stitch here, right here, you're going to go into that stitch and you're going to do a single crochet, yarn over the hook and let's say you skip this puff and you're going to go into the single crochet from the previous row. So one and two. So you're going to do the puffs, three of them. So once, twice and three times. Pull the yarn to the loops, pull the yarn to the last two, chain two, and you go back again for the second puff into the same stitch, chain two, and you go back again for the third puff. Okay, and now you're going to skip the next puff, and the one in the middle, the second one right there on top, you're going to do a single crochet yarn over the hook and now you're going to skip the this puff and this, the single crochet here. I'm going to go in there and going to start to do the puffs, the three puffs, chain two and you go back again for the second puff, chain two and the third puff in there Okay, and now you're going to skip this puff and the one in the middle, the puff in the middle, into the stitch on top there, you're going to do a single crochet, yarn over, and you're going to skip this one, and in the last stitch, yeah, it's the single crochet in there, you're going to uh, do only two puffs, chain two, and you go back again and you do the second puff, you always going to finish with only two puffs at the end. Yeah. Chain one and you start repeating. You go into the first stitch here, you do a single crochet. This one here, you're going to do a single crochet, then you're going to move to the single crochet from the previous row 
and you're gonna do the the puffs and it's like this I think this is nice to to work with it's getting lighter the the yarn so this is variegated yarn the the one that I use and I use the 4.0 millimeter crochet hook but you know whatever yarn you're gonna use you're gonna uh, work with the the crochet hook that the yarn recommends so this is what we worked up until now and this is the the sample that I did let me put a little bit of camera that you can see a little bit better yeah it's like this it's a beautiful stitch but it's gonna eat a lot of yarn but if you work with the with the thin yarn I think it's gonna look gorgeous gorgeous for a baby blanket or even a shawl, well not shawl but a wrap this one is going to be nice with uh, with thin yarn yeah. you can do this stitch with any yarn size you like but I will suggest when you uh, cast the, the chains in the beginning make sure that the, the chains in the bottom, you know, the chains are a little bit loose because if you put the, that a little bit tighter the, the chains when you cast the, the chains uh, you're gonna miss one chain when you have to skip the two and the third so leave the, the chains a little bit loose yeah. so yeah this is the stitch I hope you like give it a try thank you for watching bye bye